Welcome to another edition of Boxing After Dark. We're coming to you from the Morongo Casino Resort in Cabazon, California, with an action-packed triple header. First up, Lebrano Andrade and Robert Stieglitz match up in a 168-pound fight scheduled for 12 rounds. Then in our main event, Yoel Casamayor, long regarded as one of the best lightweights in the world, takes on hard-charging brawler Michael Katsidis. Following Casamayor versus Katsidis, we'll take a look back to one week ago in Las Vegas, where Juan Manuel Marquez and Manny Pacquiao faced off in one of the most entertaining fights in recent memory. Hello again, everyone. So glad you could join us for HBO's Boxing After Dark. I'm Bob Papa. We have an enthusiastic crowd here in the California desert. And in our live main event, Yoel Casamayor, regarded by many as the linear lightweight champion, steps into the ring tonight. What does he have left in the fall in Madison Square Garden against Jose Santa Cruz? He won a very controversial 12-round split decision. In fact, most ringside observers and most watching on television thought Casamayor lost convincingly. Well, he's trying to turn back the clock tonight against a hard-hitting Australian. Michael Katsidis is 23-0 with 20 knockouts. He's ready to take his place in the lightweight division. And one thing about Katsidis, when he steps into the ring, he's not thinking pitter-pat or bingo. He's thinking brawling. And we'll also take you back to Las Vegas one week ago. The long-awaited rematch between Juan Manuel Marquez and Monty Pop. They fought for a draw a couple of years ago. Can Manuel Marquez get his revenge? Could he establish himself in this fight and take it to Pacquiao? Or would Pacquiao's elusiveness and skills as a boxer prevail? You do not want to miss the rebroadcast of Juan Manuel Marquez and Manny Pacquiao. But to get things started tonight, we start in the 168-pound division with Lebrado Andrade. He's 29 years of age, 26-1 and one as a professional. He told us yesterday in the fighter meetings, hey, I make a lot of mistakes in the ring, but can you capitalize on my mistakes? Because I can guarantee you one thing, if you make a mistake in front of me, I will make you pay. He'll be taking on Robert Stieglitz, who was born in Russia, now fighting out of Germany. He has a very impressive record, although this will only be his second fight in the United States. 80 amateur bouts on his resume. He says that he will be able to take a page out of Miguel Kessler. One year ago on HBO's Boxing After Dark, he picked apart Andrade with good, skilled boxing. Can he do that against Andrade? We'll find out. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for our first bout of the evening. Lombrado Andrade, 29 years of age. He has a three-inch height advantage and a four-inch reach advantage. That's measured from the armpit to the tip of the fist. Both fighters rehydrated at a respectable weight on our unofficial scales. Andrade about seven pounds heavier and Stieglitz about nine. Now time for the rules with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Lombrado Andrade, Robert Stieglitz fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules they see in your screen. Real quick, the four criteria that the judges will use to score each individual round, clean punching, effective aggressiveness, ring generalship, and defense with a strong emphasis on clean, effective punching. Bob! All right, we are time for the formal introductions. To the ring we go, and our ring announcer, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. A special IBF super middleweight title eliminator bout. Brought to you live on HBO by Golden Boy Promotions from the Morongo Casino Resort and Spa in Cabazon, California. Sponsored by Tecate, Cerveza with Attitude. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, this fight is 12 rounds of boxing in the super middleweight division. Our three judges scoring this contest at ringside are Hector Afu, Jerry Cantu, and Fritz Werner. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the ring is Ray Corona. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red with black trim, weighing in at 166 and three quarter pounds. He holds a professional record of 31 wins, including 19 wins by way of knockout with only one loss. From Magdeburg, Germany, Robert Stieglitz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black, weighing in at 165 pounds, he holds a professional record of 26 wins, including 20 wins by way of knockout with only one loss. From La Habra, California, Lebrano Adrade! So, gentlemen, she's second. Take off the shirt. Watch. 
Let's go. My piece. My piece. Yeah. This is good right here. This is good right here. Listen to my commands. Stop, break. You hear me? Touch gloves. God bless. For those at home wondering, why are fighters of this level fighting on HBO right now? Why? Sh what, what am I doing watching this? Lebrado Andrade is one of those compelling figures in boxing. Every fight with him is mind over matter. It's will against his opponent's skill and always compelling. Robert Stieglitz in the red and Lebrado Andrade in the black underway. Andrade will keep a very busy work rate. He's going to take some shots. Can Stieglitz set the tempo and make this a boxing contest rather than a slugfest? Stieglitz has a good up, up style, boxing style. I like that kind of style. Watch your heads, guys. Watch your heads. Hands are very high. He's always ready to throw that left jab. Trainer Torsten Schmidt told us yesterday they studied numerous times Andrade's fight last year on HBO's Boxing After Dark in Copenhagen against Mikkel Kessler, where Kessler hit Lebrado with everything humanly possible. It went to the judges' scorecards. In fact, Andrade was telling us after the fight when he was talking with Kessler, Kessler said it was dumb of me to stay in front of you, and anybody who stays right in front of you is dumb. Andrade takes the body. Stieglitz tries to counter off that. A lot of fighters are going to look at that Kessler fight as the blueprint to beat Andrade. Of course, very few can fight as well as Mikkel Kessler. Andrade has a new trainer in his corner. Howard Grant, parting ways with Wayne McCullough, said just felt he needed to work on his defense a little bit more. Howard Grant, incidentally, is my old teammate. Canadian Olympics, 88 and 84. And the brother of Otis Grant, who Andrade sent into retirement back in 2006. And Andrade told us when he made the switch in trainers, he said, hey, I might as well go to the guys who studied really hard to try to beat me. And they've maintained a friendship over the years. Stiegler seems a bit tentative in this round. You know, he's not really letting his hands go. He seems a bit tight. And he's really waiting on his opponent to see what his opponent is doing. Work, gentlemen. Work. Andrade definitely the busy of the two. He wants to get things started here. Andrade's not one that's going to wow you during the course of a round with awesome skill. He's going to just work, work, work. He'll take some shots, but his goal is to just land bigger ones. Good short left inside by Andrade. That's Stieglitz going backwards here in the first round. End of round one, Lombrado Andrade and Robert Stieglitz scheduled for 12. How you feel, man? How's this guy? Is he any strong? Is he any power or anything? Huh? I don't know yet. All right. Drink a little bit. Listen. Keep mine. Double up the jab. Sometimes you load not too much. When you get close to him, you got to work to the body. Okay. You hit him with the right hand, but come back to the other side. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Go both sides. Boom, boom, boom. Both sides to the body. Everything good? Good. Yeah. All right. Nice shots up the middle. Beautiful uppercuts up the middle. Get over here. Just count them by going to the right a little bit. That'll be okay. Are you warmed up? So Lebrado Andrade and Robert Stieglitz get set for the start of round number two. Andrade much busier in round number one. Lennox Stieglitz coming in is more of the conventional boxer who wants to use more conventional techniques. As I look at the first round copy box numbers, Stieglitz was only one for 28 with his jab. 
Isn't that something he's going to need to be better at against a guy like Andrade? Well, like I said, he was a bit tentative in the first round. He needed to throw a lot more punches. I, I feel he's electing to throw a little more punches in this round. You know, he's in great position to throw his punches, but he wasn't letting them off. Stop! Take a step back. Stiglitz okay. arrived here in Cabazon, California on Monday. I asked him about the you know, dry conditions of the desert. He said, hey, I'm from Russia in a town called Arsk, which is right on the Black Sea. The temperatures and conditions are very similar, so this is comfortable for me. Those uppercuts didn't look Stop. so comfortable we'll that he just took from Andrade. If you notice Andrade dropping his hands as the punches come in towards his head, that's intentional. Apparently, when Andrade blocks punches with his gloves, he's found that the, the no, tendon no, 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 no. in his elbow can essentially go numb, and he can lose the use of that hand for a round. Says it's happened to him in fights before. He says when his hands are up and they're rigid and not loose, and the arm gets pressed back toward the shoulder, he can lose sensation in the arm. So he will... He's literally a guy who, about whom it can be said his plan is to block punches with his face. He doesn't really block them with his face. He rolls, he rolls them. So he doesn't, he doesn't take the full brunt of a punch, but he definitely makes contact with his face. Andrade had a good double left to the body of Stieglitz. And, and Andrade walked into a shot. He's found success with the uppercut, so he continues to oh, go to that punch. Good uppercut again by Andrade. It's working. Get off his head. And Stiegler looks a bit bloody around the nose, so he, he caught one of those uppercuts. Counter shot from Stieglitz. Good right hand by Stieglitz, left by Andrade. Stieglitz steps in with a combination. Good right cross by Stieglitz. And Stieglitz said he's gonna, he's gonna bring the fight to Andrade's. He's not gonna take too many steps back. Surprising that Stieglitz is allowing Andrade to continually hit him with that uppercut. Should move that head to one side or the other. Andrade reaching a bit. Stieglitz with a left that just missed. Good hooks to the body by Andrade. Stieglitz trying to answer back. Andrade did a something really special there. He threw a left body punch, a right body punch, and then he came up with an uppercut. Good and, combination. And Stieglitz is a bloody mess, as you can see. Here's the clustering golf head. Make it to him. Lean back a little bit. It's all on my Clean it. Here's the clustering golf head. This is very good, Robert. Just be careful. Safety first. Can't see that. There's Andrade with an uppercut. Straight through the gloves. Stiegler caught that right on the nose. And here's Stiegler coming back with a good right hand. Short right hand. You see what I'm saying about Andrade? He, he starts he to turn he, as the punches right, come. He coming. rolls with the punches. So a blistering pace in the second half of round number two, scheduled for 12. Saw them working on the nose of Stieglitz. His cut man is Dr. Walter Wagner. And uh, Stieglitz told us yesterday, his doctor asked him if he could come, so he said, sure, come on the trip with me. You might need him. Stieglitz looks like he's... Also bleeding from the head. There's that uppercut. You know, Andrade did a great job there. Stieglitz was holding him, and Andrade kept punching. Andrade has a kind of boxing intelligence like an animal. You know, he fights like it. He fights hard like a like a like an animal. And if he if he sees something's working, he just goes right back to it. It's a very kind of simple and yet you, you, you could say it's a kind of boxing intelligence. You, you say animal, I say gladiator. Gladiator, fine. Yeah, he boxes like a gladiator. Well, his wondering what his target demographic is, who Andrade would appeal to, it's kind of, if you're a human being, it's hard not to not to be a fan of Lebrado Andrade's. No, I mean, he is living the American dream. He's the most one of the most positive people you'll ever see and ever get a chance to talk to. I mean, he was a manager of a jack-in-the-box. 
Thought his boxing career was going nowhere, but always maintained a positive outlook and has been able to turn his life around from poverty to someone that's had a chance to fight for a title. And he says, positive is my fuel. It's also tough. He's received a lot of shots, and look at his face. It's still brand new money. He, he's already come so much farther than most fighters with a lot less. Not the fastest guy, as you can see. His boxing skills are not the greatest, and he's not even the greatest puncher in the world. But uh, he, his level of determination is something to see. And Stiegler, I'm, I'm telling you, right now he's a bloody mess. It must be difficult for him to even breathe, and he finds some difficulty in this desert. In this desert heat. Looks like Steve which was trying to push Andrade onto Bob Papa's lap a moment ago. Pretty close. So the punches landed in the round according to CompuBox to this point. Steve was just missed with his own uppercut. Andrade's done a nice job working to the body here through the first three rounds. Gonna stop the bell, gentlemen. Lansing left. And if you notice, I'm, uh, I'm Andrade's, got tied up. Andrade's is always first. He's coming back, he's first. Stiegel's just waiting on him, and you know, that's the wrong approach in this fight. Nice fight. Good work, baby. Good work, good work. How you feel, man? On April the 15th, Real Sports is back and will include a profile on New Angels center fielder Tory Hunter. And on April the 29th, it's a special live town hall edition of Costas Now. The internet, talk, radio, and television are all part of a rapidly changing sports media landscape. We'll discuss how we read about it, listen to, and watch sports with the best and the brightest of the new sports media. Yeah, at the beginning, you were, you were a little bit better. Come on now. Up straight at the at front. Cut it up. Just wait a little. Okay, are you? Go. Andrade and Stieglitz underway here in round number four. Let's check in with our official ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. Okay, Bob. Three to nothing, 30 to 27, Lebrato Andrade. I mean, the judges have to love that uppercut. I mean, that, that right uppercut, even the left uppercut, he's doing tremendous damage with it. He really is I'm talking about Lebrato Andrade. Bob, one interesting point. Robert Stieglitz is wearing a boxing glove called Pappen Sport. Now, he brought him himself from Germany. How you let a guy bring a pair of boxing gloves from Germany is beyond me, but be as it may, he's wearing German boxing gloves. Three to nothing, Andrade. All right, Harold. Well, Stieglitz did have a better third round, though, didn't he? He was able to land some shots in the third round compared to the first two rounds. Good left Stieg hand by Andrade. Stieglitz is still just waiting there. You know what I mean? He should be throwing that jab, double jab, but he's just waiting in the center of the ring. He just wants to work off Andrade's, which is the wrong approach. You know, he's still waiting. He has that good jab. He's not using it. Work, gentlemen, work. In other words, Andrade's approach his mental approach is what wins him fights what's winning him this fight against Stieglitz here who's physically superior in your estimation champ or not yeah I mean when I say physically technically better technically sound and he's you know he's got good defense his hands are in the proper position but he's not using it not using that jab as much as he should one jab at a time he should be throwing double jabs using that hook I'm sure he has that kind of experience that he can throw that you know, Stieglitz had 80 amateur bouts in Russia coming into this fight. He had had about 70 more rounds as a professional. Andrade just 16 amateur bouts. A combination and a cross inside. Snap back the head of Andrade. Stieglitz is a bit tired now because he threw that combination. He, he, he elected to rest. Stieglitz steps in. Shoot to right, Andrade, heads collide. Andrade is spending more time than I'm used to seeing him going backwards and on the ropes in this fight. Yeah. 
you know, I look at that as a, a, a defensive ploy when he does that because really he's just get, getting back in his defensive position and he's watching the punches and he's looking to react off of the punches that are thrown at him. Eaglitz has done some good work here in the fourth. Andrade shoots a right to the body. Stieglitz, you know, he's doing good work, but he looks a bloody mess the same way. There's a good example of the way Andrade rolls with punches to take some of the sting out of them. Andrade, Andrade shows good combinations, especially when he's up against the ropes. He mixes them up. Great Very action. Well. Good action at the end of the round. Andrade able to block some of it as Stieglitz was digging in. Well, coming up here on HBO's Boxing After Dark, Yoel Casamayor. Former lightweight champion of the world, regarded as the linear lightweight champion of the world. 36 years of age, invigorated in talking with him yesterday. Fired up about tonight's showdown with Michael Katsidis. Coming up in our live main event, there is Katsidis from Australia. Ready to make his place and make his mark on the American public tonight. Casemiro Katsidis coming up on HBO's Boxing After Dark. Again, round number five, scheduled for 12. Super middleweights, Lebrano Andrade in the black, Robert Stieglitz from Russia fighting out of Germany in the red. No knockdown so far in the fight. Stieglitz had a very good round number four. A really good exchange between the two guys at the end of round four. Nice, we talked about what Stieglitz can do better. What can Andrade do better? Well, Andrade's can throw more jabs, but he's, when he's in close, I find he throws good combination. He works on both sides of the body. And, you know, these things came from Otis Grant. He's good at that. He's a great trainer in that, in that way. He can make you uh, concentrate on certain things that you need to concentrate on, such as defense. Stop! Stop! No, 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 So you no. see Grant's imprint on Andrade here, yeah. clearly. Oh, clearly with the body work. Mixing it up on the body work, working both sides, and even more defensive sound. And it's Howard Grant and Andrade really seem to enjoy working together. They have a good relationship. Howard Grant told us of all the fighters he's had, because this guy is the easiest. And the perfect boxer to train. Doesn't complain, good worth ethics, and, uh, you know, does what he's told. Uh, the other interesting thing is he said, Sometimes it can get a little frustrating because some of the simple things that he would ask of a boxer to do, just working on the pads and the bag in the gym, he said, Andrade can't do it. And Andrade says, you know, I can't. He also said he's shocked that, that he's made it so far on the limited talent that he has. Stieglitz firing off the ropes and backs away. And that's what makes Andrade compelling. It is will over skill. It's the imposition of a man's will. You know, against all odds, against faster, more skillful opponents. Andrade did a nice job picking off the combination. And he, if you look at Andrade, notice how he picks off the punches. He, he just moves his hand in front of his face and blocks them. It, it, it comes down to Andrade's willing to go places that most fighters are not willing to go. He will never stop coming at you. Well, we asked Stieglitz if he's willing to go to those places, and he said with an affirmative, yes. We'll find out. Uppercut on the inside from Andrade. It's been a good round five for Lebrano Andrade. He's got Stieglitz on the retreat just a little bit. Uppercut on the inside again. Yeah. Stieglitz needs to move his head. Right now, he's got his head in one position, and that's a bad recipe for this type of fight, especially for a strong puncher like Andrade's. And Andrade finishes the round, an impressive round with a flourish. Suck it up. How you feel, my friend? Huh? How you feel? 
You're working like a champion there, man. I'm a green champion. Huh? You're working good inside. When he comes at you, retreat a little bit. Just let him come a little bit and then counter. And here we see the left hook by Andrade straight on the chin. Stieglitz never seen that coming. And here's the uppercut. Looks like Stieglitz closed his eyes to receive that shot. Keeps receiving shots like that, or his eyes will be closed soon hard. enough. You know, in the final minute of the round, according to CompuBox, Andrade landed 24 of his 35 connects in the final minute. And you know, you're looking at the numbers, and Stieglitz said that he wanted to box Andrade when we spoke with him, used boxing skills. So far in the fight, he's done nothing with his jab. According to CompuBox, he's only at 12%. He has not used the jab to control the distance. You know, a part of that is, after harping on Andrade's lack of skill, is Andrade improving in certain respects? He's keeping his distance, I think, a little bit better. His defense does look a little bit better, and his timing is tricky enough to avoid punches while landing a lot of his own. That is, there's skill to that, to all those aspects of his game. Well, you know, as he's blocking a punch, he's moving at the same time. Anytime Stieglitz throws a punch, he's blocking it, moving at the same time. And that's what's neutralizing Stieglitz's offense as much as Stieglitz maybe not having the proper mentality in terms of delivering his offense. Got it's got a hook to the body and then missed to the head. Again, they get tied up. Stieglitz tries to dig in with a right hand to the body, goes with a combination to the head. He delivered some offense there, Stieglitz did. But then right back comes Andrade, and that has to be discouraging. That's every Andrade opponent faces that. You, you think you landed a combination that would stop a, stop a guy in his tracks, and yet Andrade's right back on you. Stieglitz don't like that inside work. Oh. Well, for Ray Corona, was lucky he didn't get caught with that hook. Double jab there by Stieglitz. Lower pace here in the sixth round. Watch your feet, watch your feet. Go. Triple left hand from Andrade. Stieglitz tries to go to the body. Right cross from Stieglitz. Shoots the right again. Another right hand by Stieglitz. Stieglitz is connecting with that right hand because Andrade is, has that left hand down. And Andrade shoots a right of his own. Another right hand by Andrade. Left hand by Andrade. Stieglitz backs up. Stieglitz looks a bit hurt. Good hook to the body. Andrade shoots a right hand in. Referee Corona looking on. And then Stieglitz fires back. End of the sixth. Big round, Andrade. Oh. Don't let him take away that round from you. It's it was yours. Just, just be clever. Just keep that round. Don't let him take it away from you. At first you were really good, really clever by ducking down. You understand? The body doesn't move all the time. Like you understand? Good work, good work. Doble, doble jab, doble jab y la derecha. O agarrate bien bonito porque no estás esperando eso. Bien bonito que lo agarrate ya que si lo tumbaba. You keep working, you keep working where you're working. You understand? Okay, Vic. Okay, go. Alles klar? Good. Everything okay? Good. We begin round number seven. 
Robert Stieglitz and Lebrado Andrade. Once again, we check the scorecard of Harold Letterman. Okay, Bob. 59, 55, five rounds to one, Lebrado Andrade. You know, that's very, very interesting. A lot of these rounds, Robert Stieglitz starts real, real good, and then at the last minute, Lebrado Andrade just turns it on and takes the round away, just like he did in round six. Ro Robert Stieglitz, a real good round in round four when he out punched Andrade, but other than that, Andrade's doing more, doing more damage, they the more clean hard shots, five to one, Lebrado Andrade. Harold, to illustrate your point, according to copy box, again, Andrade landed 25 of his 37 connects in the final minute of the round, undoing any good work that Stieglitz had done. And you know, earlier, Stieglitz actually landed some good right hands there, but uh, we didn't see them, but I seen them. You know, when you say undoing, Bob, I think that's right on the money. It seems that the punishment that Andrade absorbs is forgotten about as soon as it lands. It doesn't seem to add up on him, but it does seem to add up on his opponent. I concur on that. Stieglitz steps in with a combination after Andrade right hand. Stieglitz has been stopped once in March of last year in Germany. Alejandro Berrio took him out in the third round. Left hand by Andrade, snap back the head of Stieglitz. You mentioned earlier, Bob, what Stieglitz prepared to do. The Eastern European school of boxing, the culture there seems to be that you treat it as a sport, which seems reasonable. The North American boxing culture, especially the Mexican and Mexican-American culture, is that you have to be willing to lay everything on the line and never stop. And um, not that Stieglitz is not fighting with a lot of heart, he is. But Andrade is um, approaching it from a, I think, more relentless point of view, a more uh, a point of view where he's more willing to do whatever it takes to push himself to win a fight. Well, that last exchange, you know, Stieglitz did some nice things again. The final half minute of the round, though, this is where Andrade has really come on. Stieglitz is looking to put the accent on the last punch. He throws a combination. If you watch that last punch that comes through, it's the, it's the hardest punch out of the combination. So he's trying to create openings for himself and land that hard right hand in there. Stieglitz gets backed up. A little wobbly on the legs. Roll to the end of the seventh round for Robert Stieglitz and Lebrado Andrade. Well, Michael Katsinis going through his last minute preparations, getting ready for his big career defining showdown against Yoel Casamayor. That's coming up live here on HBO's Boxing After Dark. Katsinis 23 0 with 20 knockouts. And we'll also show you the rebroadcast from a week ago Juan Manuel Marquez and Manny Pacquiao. The rematch. The fight had tremendous ebb and flow throughout the course of the evening. Each man seemed to gain control with the other responding. Both were bloodied and bowed in this fight. You don't want to miss the rebroadcast of Juan Manuel Marquez and Manny Pacquiao coming up tonight on HBO's Boxing After Dark. Round number eight for Lebrado Andrade and Robert Stieglitz. Scheduled for 12. This combination by Stieglitz to start the round. Right on the inside from Andrade. Stieglitz did some good boxing last round, and, he's, and he maintained it throughout the round a little bit better than he'd done in some previous rounds, and he's picking up where he left off here. Take a step back, both of you. Go. Stop. Stop. Right hand, another right hand from Stieglitz. 
And Andrade's uh, ability to absorb shots like that, yes, he does roll with them, but his ability to take them right in his face and keep coming as though they didn't even land is just remarkable. And we've seen this now from him in many fights. He was knocked down in his last fight against Yusef Mack. He said he just didn't see the punch. Did not see it. And then got up and stopped Yusef Mack. Stieglitz's nose hasn't stopped running for this whole fight. Seems like the corner can't get that under control. It's a steady stream of blood always coming from his nostril. Andrade digging to the body hard. Goes oh. after Stieglitz with a right hand. Jumps him with a left. Short right on the inside. Stieglitz in trouble. Oh. Referee Ray Corona stops it. Here in the eighth. Lovato Andrade with a blistering eighth round after Stieglitz there came out go. with some good work and go. pounded him. It started with the body work against the ropes. Robert Stieglitz checking his jaw. In round eight, Andrade outlanded Stieglitz 29 to 12. 23 power shots. And Robert Stieglitz gets stopped for the second time in his career. As Lebrano Andrade picks up win number 27. And here it is, just a quick right hand, caught him right on the jaw. And then, Andrade took advantage of that hurt, and now he's ex trying to hold heap of combinations to take him out. Referee steps in there and, Lennox, you know, and right, stops the fight. Right before that sequence, it was numerous body punches by Andrade that kind of slowed Stieglitz down, and then that right hand bouncing off the ropes staggered him. He was able to take advantage of that quite quickly, and that's what you that's what you do. Don't give your opponent any rest. Cease the opportunity and allow the referee to step in and stop it. And then the backflip by Andrade. Well, we say he's limited <laughs> as a boxer, but maybe not as a gymnast. Apparently, oh. he's a great athlete. Well, I've seen backflips done better than that, but so. <laughs> it's more of a side flip. <laughs> so, Lebrano Andrade taking care of Robert Stieglitz, finishing him off in the eighth round. For the official time of the stoppage, here is our ring announcer, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ray Corona has called the stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 53 seconds of the eighth round. Declaring the winner by TKO, and now the number one ranked and mandatory challenger for the IBS Super Middleweight title, Lebrano Andrade. So Lombrado Andrade with a very impressive performance against Robert Stieglitz here in the ring tonight as he finishes him off in round number eight. Work, 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 and more work. He paid attention to the body, and he got it done. We take a look at the final punch stats for Lombrado Andrade. And you take a look at the total punches in the fight. He threw 600 through seven and a half rounds, 73 more than Stieglitz. You see the connects. Clearly in favor, 60 more connects, and he landed at 36%. He did tremendous work to the body in this fight, which was one of the key components, especially in the eighth and final round. Power numbers, while well, Andrade in the final round, when he landed 28 punches, 23 of those were power shots. He landed at 40% to Stieglitz's 38%. But as you can see, he was able to land 52 more during the course of the fight. 